Now, how do we solve an equation in three variables? Let's take this particular example. You have x plus y plus z is 5. We can call that as 1. And you have 2x minus 3y minus 4z is minus 11. And 3x plus 2y minus z is equal to minus 6. You can call that as 3. Try to find out a pair of equations which can be eliminated and worked upon and obtain an equation in two variables. If you see, you add z and minus z could get cancelled. So you add 1 and 3. When you add 1 and 3, left hand side is x plus 3x, 4x, y plus 2y, 3y, and z minus z is 0. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So you get this as a fourth equation. So from an equation in two variables, it is turned into an equation in, sorry, three variables, it is turned into an equation in two variables. So we add 1 and 3 and we get this. Now we need to deal and get obtain one more equation. Now we see this is 2x minus 3y minus 4z is minus 11. So you can multiply equation 1 into 4. So if you multiply by 4, we get 4x plus 4y plus 4z is 20. So the idea is to add after this, you can call it as equation 4. So we have 5, this is equation 5. So if you compare 2 and 5, if you add the 2, the minus 4z will get cancelled and you get 2 plus 5 if you do. If you do 2 plus 5, you get 2x plus 4x is 6x and minus 3y plus 4y is y. Minus 4z plus 4z is 0, that becomes, and then minus 11 plus 20 is 9, and you get equation number 6. Now we just need to solve 4 and 6 simultaneously. You could take y is equal to 9 minus 6x in this, and if you substitute it, you get 4x plus 3 into 9 minus 6x is equal to minus 1, so you get 4x plus 27. Minus 18x is minus 1. So, minus 14x is equal to minus 1 minus 27 minus 28. So, x would turn out to be minus 28 upon minus 14, which is 2. And thus, after that, you can substitute x value over here and get the value of y. And simultaneously, once you get x and y, you can substitute in the first equation and get the value of z. So, <coughs> To cut the long story short, you take pairs of equation and eliminate one of the variables so that you get an equation, two equations in two variables, solve them like a pair of simultaneous equations in two variables and get the values of x and y. So this is where we solve equations in three variables. Now let's come to the actuals in this case and let's see what we have in hand. 